So school lives have landed, and they are pretty darn good. I have to say, I was testing it this morning inside our community, and it is really, really good. Very slick, as I would expect from the school team. But the question is, will it replace Zoom? Can you give up Zoom? In the way that we could potentially, with you know, native videos, give up video hosting. Well, I still use some form of video hosting, and I think many people are still going to need to use Zoom. So, in this video, I'm going to walk you through and show you inside the the new live feature, how it works, how I would potentially use it for marketing, and then the downside for people in terms of not being able to completely give up Zoom. So let's take a look. So the first thing is that you're going to see inside is that if you go to the top here, you're going to see go live here. Now you could go into your calendar and you could create a new one. So if we quickly go into there, we could go in and we could create a new one and it will automatically have school here. Now the great thing is this is available for your $9 hobby account or also your $99 pro account. So we all get it. There are no limitations. So that's something I would like to say up front. I think is absolutely fantastic. So here you have the options of Zoom, Meet, different links that you want to drop in, but it's automatically going to be school. And for this, it means that it's going to create a school link inside the calendar that people can click and they can open up and join a live school call. And the great thing is that they can't share these links. So these links are actually going to be locked if someone comes from outside your community. So what will happen is if you shared this on social media, which I think could be a great way to do marketing with this, let's say on your YouTube channel, for example, you were sharing in posts in your the community tabs that you're going live in the community very soon and you shared the live call link. Well, what this does is it actually, if nobody, if they're not actually a member within the school community yet, it will take them to the about, about page for them to register. So this could be a great way for you to talk about going live. And rather than say going live on social media, you are now going live inside your school community. And then you could also share those links within the school community. You could share those links to your emails and get people to come towards the school community and register if they haven't already. So you can speak to the benefits of it outside to get people inside and attracted towards your community if they haven't registered yet already, even if it's paid or even if it's free. So you can do that inside here just as you would. Otherwise, if we come back inside our community area, we go to go live. And if we click on that, I'll have to show you quickly because I don't want anybody to potentially join us. But you will see this and you'll have the options for the different mics that you maybe want to select, the different videos and the different speakers that you may have. So you've got those and you've also able to change the background settings here as well. But this is essentially what you're going to see. And what you do is you go to join call. And once you do that, if you do it directly from inside your community like we just did now, what's going to happen is that you're going to see something light up here. So when you've got your Q&A here, if you do an impromptu live call, if I go into join call and we go inside and then I go here, you see live random hangout. So if you go live at any time within your phone, within your iPad, your computer, it will show up there. And then you can see here, you've got the different video options here. So you can turn this on and off as well, your mic off. You've got screen sharing as you would expect. You've got reactions. You can record this call and then you'll be able to download it afterwards. They will make this more straightforward very soon. So at the click of a button, hopefully we'll be able to just share it inside the community or save it somewhere without having to download it and re-upload it. But you've got the settings here, you've got effects. You can do some backgrounds. These don't work that well at the moment, as you can see, sort of, it's not so good about the edging. So we turn those off, but you can maybe blur the black background a bit if you wanted. This works quite well, I think that's pretty good. So you've got those features there as well. And obviously you can close it and you've got the tab down the side that shows the, the people inside. And then you've got chat as well to share that down here. Now the benefit here is that you're going to be able to add and remove people, kick people out, make them audio, disable audio, and so on. So you've got all the normal features you would expect inside of Zoom. But the added benefit of something that I really quite like about this, maybe you could do this in Zoom, I don't know, but is that I could actually leave. 
So it was only me in there, so I left anyways, and that ended the call. But if you could leave, you have two options normally, and that's one that you leave and or or you close it down for everybody. And if you just you leave, then the call will continue without you inside. So that means you can actually leave your members talking and hanging out without you there. And when the last person leaves, it will close down. So you could actually leave the calls open for extended periods so your members can hang out inside, which I think is a very cool feature and something that is actually really, really good. So the downside is that I was saying, will this replace Zoom? And I think yes and no. For your lives and your community calls and your group calls, yes, 100%. It's going to add a live feature where we can go live a lot more. And in terms of marketing, I think being able to go live in the side and have random hangouts is going to bring your community together. It's going to mean that you can do your lives inside rather than externally. And I think that gives it a real unique feel. Obviously, you could sort of do it with Zooms in the past, but it just doesn't work as well, wasn't as straightforward. So now that we can actually go live at any given time, this brings more possibilities. But in terms of one-on-one -on -one calls for group coaches at this moment in time, I don't see why they couldn't add this in future, but maybe they don't want to do that now. This is version one. There will be updates. Maybe they will add it in future. I hope they will. And that's that you can't get a link. I can't get a, I can't create a call and get a link unless it's in the calendar. But if it's in the calendar, it's going to be group still. So yeah, I could lock it for individual courses, but you couldn't have an individual course for, for everybody. So we have no way of creating an individual link that we can share in DMs and send to members that perhaps have got direct coaching with you, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and so on. So in terms of booking and scheduling calls, we obviously can't link to Calendly and those types of scheduling apps. So I really think you're not going to be able to replace Zoom yet. But we could use Lives for your group calls, and then you could use Google Meets for your one-to-one -one coaching. So potentially you could eliminate the cost anyways and just use Google Meets. So I think that's probably going to be a good way to be able to, to use Lives to save the cost of Zoom if you want to get rid of it. But I really think this, this Live is a fantastic feature that's going to bring a lot of benefits to us. So let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think of this new feature? Have you tried it out yet? And if you would like more training on growing your school community with YouTube, then you can join our free community, which I will link to in the video description. See you in the next one.